So it's the dead of winter, snowy, cold, nasty. So I decided to make myself a bourbon lemonade to remind me of the summer and also make one of my favorite warm me up soups, my ham and split pea soup. Now if you notice from the title, I call it my top secret ham and split pea soup. That's because I have a secret ingredient that will be revealed at the end of the episode. Stay tuned. So what I have in front of me are onions, carrots, and celery. Three very humble ingredients that together are going to form a savory base for a delicious soup. Let's do it. So I got a heated pot on the stove. I'm going to add a small swig of olive oil. Now I'm going to add my onions. Oh yeah. I'm also going to add two cloves of garlic. So my onions have been cooking for about four or five minutes. I'm going to add the carrots and celery. By the way, this is uh, a medium onion chopped, one large carrot chopped, and two stalks of celery chopped. Gotcha back. So while the vegetables are getting all acquainted in the pan, I'm going to work on the ham. So I got one cup of ham chopped. It's going to go in with the vegetables. Now you might be thinking, this ham's already cooked. Why are you putting it in now? I'm using yellow split peas. You can use the green kind too. I just prefer the yellow color. And I'm going to do, I think, about a cup and a half. Now at this point, you can go crazy. You can put some thyme in there. You put a bay leaf in there. But I'm keeping it simps today, okay? You know what I'm saying? Keeping it clean, keeping it simps, keeping it natch. So once you've added the peas, you can add the liquid. Now you can go crazy and put in chicken stock, you can put in veggie stock or whatever. Please don't use beef stock, okay? This ain't the right soup for that. I'm just gonna use water, plain water. Now some of you might be thinking, water has no flavor, Debbie Wong, what are you doing? Actually, the water's gonna combine with the beautiful celery, onions, and carrots, which really are the basis of the vegetable stock anyway. So really, we're making our own stock in here. You know what I mean? I'm staying economical. I know you guys appreciate that. So of course, the soup is very bland right now. Seasoned with salt and pepper. Don't forget that. I know it takes a long time. But hey, you can be doing other things right now. You can check your Instagram. You can catch up on your websites. You know, you can go take a shower. I don't care. Okay? But me, me personally, I'm going to make something that goes along with this soup. What? Double wrong, double whammy. time so I thought I would show you guys one of my favorite vegetable side dishes I call them my classy greens I've been on a pea kick lately split pea soup pea shoots cabbage not a pea whatever and frozen peas so some of you might be asking pea shoot what's a pea shoot well, pea shoots are eaten a lot in Chinese cooking, and you'll be able to find pea shoots in a lot of Chinese markets. But if you can't find them, you can use spinach, you can use kale or chard or any other leafy green. This dish is gonna come together like bam, 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 super quick. I got a hot pan on the stove, olive oil, extra virgin. This is one of my favorite combinations of ingredients. Olive oil, chilies, and garlic. I'm going to grate in about three large cloves. And the garlic and the chili are going to permeate that oil, flavor that oil. Mm. Next, I'm going to pop in my cabbage. I've cut it up in thin strips so it cooks fast. It looks nice. So the cabbage has had about a four or five minute head start. It's broken down a little bit. Now it's time for the pea shoot. Put that straight in there. 
What I'd like to do at this point is just give it a sprinkle of water. And what that does is helps create some steam and helps the pea shoots wilt down more easily. Once the pea shoots have wilted down, throw in the frozen peas. And all you do, stir them through, let them defrost, and you're basically done. So here it is. I'm going to finish it off with a squeeze of lemon. And to take it to the next level, a crumbling of feta cheese. Next level goodness, oh my god. I know this combination of vegetables is a little bit weird. Pea shoots, peas, cabbage. But trust me, together and with the feta cheese, bam. So it's been almost one hour and my pea soup is done. And now, time for my secret ingredient. So when I have pea soup, I'm always thinking, mm, I really like these deep, rich, earthy flavors, but I feel like it needs a kick, a little like sharpness, right? And one day I had a brilliant idea, Dijon mustard. <laughs> Dijon, ham, match made in heaven, right? So why can't it go in this soup? I'll stir it in, and you will find that it gives this soup the kick it craves. Oh, hell yeah. Mm. You don't taste the mustard. You just taste that, that. Finally, a sprinkling of fresh dill. Peas, dill, it all goes together. This is my little trick. If you don't feel like um, chopping, just snip it. All right, time for my final taste. Ham and split pea soup with my secret ingredient of Dijon mustard. Mm. Hot damn. Hope you enjoyed my double whammy episode. Peas, peas, and more peas. See you next time. For real. See you next time. <laughs>